Hi, welcome back again to another episode here, Liz Soria. Just giving you a financial update in a nutshell. So I came across this wonderful um, blog and it's uh, found the right over businessinsider.com. I'm sharing it just in case you want to go and, and read more of the entire article. Anyhow, it says more home buyers are taking a cue from Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos buying up real estate to create compounds in their neighborhoods and keep investors out. I don't know about you, but I think I find this very interesting because as we know, real estate right now is very choppy. Um, it's been going kind of declining in pricing because it was such a, you know, a, I call it sort of a bubble. Uh, but anyhow, I want to go in deep into this uh, article because it says some celebrities, and it says this right here, some celebrities and wealthy people buy several homes in their neighborhoods to grow their empires. Empires, what would they do that? Well, you know, there's a very good reason behind that, right? And I think one of the things that I've been investing in real estate myself is that if you have this amazing home uh, that you know you want to stay for many years to come and perhaps in the future you want to have family and friends or who knows, or just as a long investment and you have a vacant lot next to you or another property next to you that some way, somehow you're able to financially, uh, you know, purchase that property. I think it's a no brainer. That's just me. Um, and, and again, I'm the average person out there. Most of the people who listen to me, will they're learning about how to be more, you know, uh, savvy when it comes to making investments. Um, it, but I think this article really came in a good time because you can even see that Elon Musk, uh, right, being one of the world's, you know, richest person, uh, you know, he says it right here, but he bought six houses and two streets in Los Angeles over the course of the past decade, okay? In addition, he has another house in the northern part of California, and that really adds up to $100 million in real estate spending. Now, I would like to replace that word spending uh, to really investing because I really don't think that people... The majority of the cases, people don't waste money when it comes to real estate. It's just that they buy something bad from the beginning. So um, again, doing homework and doing your research and, and being smart with your money is going to make a huge difference. But this is interesting because you've seen that uh, in a lot of places, the land is worth more than the house itself. So sometimes we kind of have to look beyond um, and see what these celebrities are doing by, you know, protecting their neighborhoods. That's right. Because we have in all these, uh, you know, investors, uh, I call them with very uh, deep pockets, and they just come in over to all these neighborhoods and just purchasing massively. And I think that if you want something as an asset for your future, again, your family, your friends, um, what better to buy something that maybe... You might even have a, you know, a vacant lot that could be possible too, instead of just a house and just purchasing that vacant lot next door to you behind your home or even across whatever is near your, your area, especially close to your own house that you live in uh, and it's been your primary, you know, residency, why not protect that? Um, and I do believe that a lot of these, uh, you know, big uh, pocket investors, they come in and really not. Uh, you know, caring much about what's, you know, what's the bottom line for them. So I think this is a very interesting uh, thing to come across. And I hope you might agree uh, with me if you don't. Um, uh, we all have different opinions, but I think that is definitely something that all of us as home buyers should be looking into um, for the possibility of buying other uh, pieces of land. Or like I say, if you can buy for the house, then by all means uh, do. Um, but I think it was very interesting because as people are running away from real estate right now, as we're going through the cycle, which is a normal thing, uh, what goes up goes down. Uh, this brings up your attention that even big, you know, uh, multimillionaires, they really are going into buying additional property. Um, so again, I hope this information was um, valuable to you. And like I said, well, I'm going to be coming with very short 10 minutes or less of financial updates, anything from, like I said, real estate, 
uh, could be stocks. It could be also about business, uh, entrepreneurship. Um, uh, I am a tax advisor and accountant, so that's what I do by nature. And I love just sharing this information just to make it a nutshell because there's a lot of information out there that I think a lot of people sometimes is just reading a lot of things that um, don't come from the right source. And I like this, like I said, this blog, I think this is a very, uh, you know, important information to share. Anyhow, I've been seeing you in the next episode. Thank you so much and uh, take care. Bye-bye.